Hey, I can't even say why I did this shit on the internet for because that shit. I was trying not to get into details, bro. Oh, All ass tweaking, man. I'm, don't add me to this shit either. Man, <laughs> man. Fuck that shit. You already on this shit. Ain't nothing to talk about, fuck. Man, what's up, people? Welcome back to another video. And today, you know, I want to sit there and talk about that whole that no limit shit. You got you got some updates on that no limit shit, man. You know, little baby done came out. You know, Herb still quiet, but with Herb, he he dealing with some some other shit, so. Right now, we're going to talk about that whole that whole Bibby shit, man. You know, Bibby done came out, you know what I'm saying? And he done sat there and said, oh, Cairo a hoe, you know what I'm saying? Cairo, Cairo ain't no shit, you know what I'm saying? Bibby also sat there and said, man, Cairo just hating because I'm just signing white kids, suburban white kids. But I still love you, bro. But I slapped the hell out you, you know what I'm saying? Your baby talking that crazy shit, you know what I'm saying? He back on that 2013, 2014 shit. You better stop playing with him, man. You know what I'm saying? You better stop playing with little baby, man. That's Bib, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, baby been on that quiet shit. Baby been signing motherfuckers, trying to make superstar out of motherfuckers. Even baby done stopped his whole career. Like, I'm still trying to wait. I'm still waiting or trying to see when is baby coming out with a new album or a new tape or come out with something with herb or drop a song or something like drop an old song that you already didn't have finished already just drop that shit you know what i'm saying unless you got label issues of your own or you are independent and you just don't want to drop no music but shit you know but shit i can't sit there and hold baby accountable you know what i'm saying all i can sit there and do is just root for the nigga because he's sitting there doing executive things, signing motherfuckers, putting other people in position. And my thing is this, like, all them no limit niggas, they mad because Bibby won't sign them. And Bibby already been came out and said, yo, if I ever start signing motherfuckers, I am not signing no hood niggas. I am not signing no niggas that's going to be dissing the ops. I'm not signing none of that shit, yo. I'm trying to sign, you know, people that make music that I can ride around to in any hood. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to... Sign. That's why he keeps signing all these white kids, all these light skinned kids, all these kids from the suburban areas, or kids that's not really from the street. Like Juice World is the closest that ever be from the street. You know what I'm saying? He was to to talking that old bunch of gun toting, no limit shit. You know what I'm saying? And my thing is, just them, the rest of them no limit niggas don't even know Juice World like that. You know what I'm saying? But you know, Juice World was the closest. To, you know, I guess the white crowd and the black crowd. So, he was playing that gray area, you know what I'm saying? But, but yeah, man. Baby done came out. He done sat there and said something on Instagram. How motherfuckers is hating, you know what I'm saying? And all that other shit. He actually got on live with that, with them niggas after that interview with 16 Shot him came out, you know what I'm saying? But... You know, Bibby, you know, Bibby's not the type of nigga to sit there and let him let you talk about him, you know what I'm saying? He gonna come back, you know what I'm saying? He be on some chill shit, he be on some chill shit, but, you know, he's not gonna let a motherfucker play him, you know what I'm saying? Now, as far as Herb, like I said in the last video, I feel like Herb won't give us a couple of sneaky balls, you know what I'm saying? But right now, Herb got some whole other situation to deal with. He, he got... Baby mama and, and girlfriend issues, you know what I'm saying? With with his kids, we we're not gonna get into that, you know what I'm saying? That's that's, that's a he say she say that shouldn't shouldn't even be on the internet. But I don't know why we still keep seeing shit on the internet. I guess motherfuckers really do live on the internet, you know what I'm saying? But I want to kind of direct this video, this part of the video, on the whole you know little Chris Rock situation with Will Smith, Jada, the Oscars, with real quick. Now, my thing is this. All three of them wrong. Matter of fact, the people that was running the Oscars is wrong. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you why they, they wrong. The reason why they wrong is because, like, a couple of years ago, I want to say about two or three years ago, Jada, Will, and a few other people was boycotting the Oscars. You know what I'm saying? So, my thing is this. Like, that shit was a whole setup for Will and Jada because those two was the main two on the front line sitting there boycotting the whole joint, the whole situation, the whole Oscars, and then you got a comedian to to get on stage and diss them. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I feel like Chris Rock is wrong because at the time, at the day and age, you should already know 
that you're a comedian slash actor and you should already know that the fact that times are changing and people are getting more sensitive to jokes. And this is not back in the 90s, the 80s, or the early 2000s where, you know, you could say some shit and you could pretty much get away with it. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to really get no backlash from it. Nowadays, within the last two to five years, everything in the beginning, damn it, became sensitive. You know what I'm saying? So, Chris Rock... You wrong for that, you know what I'm saying? You wrong for that. You gotta hold that L, hold that slap. Well, you got the slap, you got the L in the slap. So yeah, hold that L, you know what I'm saying? And Will, you're wrong because my thing is this, like, all right, boom. He said a little weak ass, corny ass joke, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the case may be. Now, yeah, you could have got up out your seat, you could have stepped up on stage, you could have just stepped to him like yo. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't mention my wife no more. You know what I'm saying? If you mention my wife, it's gonna be a serious problem. You know what I'm saying? He could have he could have did something like that. He could have screamed from the seat. He could have said anything. You know what I'm saying? But that slap. You know what I'm saying? I I get it. You know, the last couple of years things have backed you into a corner. You know what I'm saying? You feel some type of way about your wife, whatever the case may be. But come on, bro. Oh yeah. Last up the bat, we got Jada, man. Her nipple of ass. You know what I'm saying? We got to sit there and hold her accountable, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? You got to hold her accountable because she didn't get away with that look, you know what I'm saying? Now, the black culture, the black community, you know that look, man. That look means a lot, man. It's that look where, where your, your wife, your mom, your girl, anybody close to you that got pulled like that, going to look at you like that the way she looked at Will. And Will was like, oh, damn. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm guessing his mama used to give him that look back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Because once he looked at her, after he stopped laughing, that nigga was on go. For some reason, that nigga was on go. Like, that nigga done turned bipolar, laughed, got up, smacked him, and then pulled the iconic, the yell, the yelling and shit. You know what I'm saying? The iconic yelling that he normally do in, in movies and shit. You'd have thought that this shit was a, a skit or some shit. I, I, at one point, I thought it was a skip, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, and the last but not least, the Oscars is wrong for setting that up. I, I think I think that they really was trying to get Will out of there anyway, you know what I'm saying? Because he, he was boycotting them niggas. But they talking about him. Will done sat there and retired from the academy. And he not trying to give back his award because he worked hard, which is, which is true, you know what I'm saying? He worked hard for that shit, but... You know, I you know, I don't, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I think that the whole situation was, you know, played it played out wrong, you know, in everybody's favor. Everybody take that L, you know what I'm saying? With that whole Oscar situation. Will, take that L. Chris Rock, take that L. Jada, hold that L. And the Oscars, the people that's running the Oscars, the higher-ups, hold that L. Because y'all set that shit up. Y'all set up a black man to get smacked on national TV, you know what I'm saying? They, they they probably wanted that shit to happen because don't nobody watch no Oscars. You know what I'm saying? Only but only only old people and and people that watch movies like they that's real into movies watch shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Niggas don't even watch the hip hop awards or the BET awards. So you think niggas is gonna watch the Oscars? Come on, man. But yeah, that's enough of me talking, man. If there's any more updates on the whole Chris and Will and the whole situation, whatever the case may be. I'm going to talk about it, and I really think that Chris is going to talk about it, but he's going to wait until he gets some money, you know what I'm saying, like a Netflix special or HBO special, and then he's going to talk about it. He's going to talk about getting slapped while he's making money, you know what I'm saying, he's going to try to recoup from that, you know what I'm saying, but that's enough of me talking, shout out everybody, keep rocking with me, Project Baby's working, man, you know, I love y'all, shout out Marlon, shout out Trees, shout out everybody, man. We out of here. Hey, I can't even say why I did this shit on the internet for, because that shit, I was trying not to get into details, bro. Oh, man, it's tweaking, man. I'm, don't add me to this shit either. Man, <laughs> man. Fuck that shit. <laughs> you already on this shit. Ain't nothing to talk about, fuck. On my, on my woo wob, you feel me? For no reason. And I want to I wanna shout out everybody that been fucking with me on my videos and all that good shit. You know what I'm saying? That know how I'm coming, man. That know I'm an entertainer. And that know I'm shaky, I do what shaky do, you feel me? I'm my own man, I don't do what I see the next nigga do, you know?